Hey guys, it's Nico Fry Games here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a Cold Waters uh, video before. I think my last one was on playable uh, surface ships mods. And today I figured I have discovered a new mod that allows you to play more surface ships. You can actually play them in the campaigns as well. Um, I'm going to be showing you one of the uh, playable uh, ships in the testing grounds. It actually allows you to play as the Chinese surface ships, the Soviet surface ships, and the American surface ships, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to be showing you guys the Kiev class uh, aircraft carrier. Let's start. So here we got the uh, regular uh, submarines. Oh, then we got we got some Chinese uh, ships you can test out, but you can't test them out in the uh, in any of the campaigns, which is which is pretty sad, but fair. Here we go. Got all these uh, submarines right here, and we're about to get to the surface ships pretty quick. Here we go, come on, hurry up. Oh, right, here we go. See, as we can see, we can, there's the Knox class uh, frigate. Then we got the Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate, short hull. Then we got the long hull. Then we got the uh, late. We got the Garing class destroyer. Spruce class uh, destroyer. The Flight 1 Arley Burke class destroyer. The first version, the second version, then we got the 3A version, which has more modern uh, systems on it. And it just simply uh, looks cooler. Then we got the Belknap class guided uh, missile cruiser early. We got the late version. The Ticonderoga class uh, guided missile cruiser, the early and the late version. Then we also have this bad boy, which is the Iowa class battleship, the 1984 version, which is very updated. It's got sea whizzes on it. It's got a uh, Tomahawk class uh, cruise missiles. It, ac it actually has a. Uh, uh, what is it? A uh, helicopter right here that you can launch from the, the back of the uh, battleship to uh, help uh, deal with uh, submarines, which is pretty good. And I will probably do a video uh, on this later in the campaign because for some reason in the U.S. campaign, you can actually uh, use their modern surface ships and the uh, the battleships for some reason. Then, come on, we got the Type 21 Frigate, which is a uh, British ship for the Royal Navy. We got the Country Class Guided Missile Destroyer. Then we got the Country, the second, I think it's the more modern version of the Country Class Guided D Missile Destroyer. The Type 42. And then we got the Soviet ships right here. We got the Patoy class small anti-submarine ship, which looks like a pretty much a uh, torpedo boat, a small torpedo boat. But these are very lethal against submarines. You got these uh, what we call hedgehogs, which are uh, rocket-launched depth charges. So those are very very dangerous. And we got torpedoes and then we got the uh, cannons right here oh here we go then we got the Riga class patrol ship then you got the Grusha 3 class small anti-submarine ship 
Well, it's these all it's a uh, pretty much a small frigate in a way then we got the Ker Kervak Kervak 1 class patrol ship which this thing looks mean this looks very dangerous then we got the Kotlin class uh, destroyer then we got the the Cashin class large anti-submarine ship right here. Then we got the Kanan class large anti-submarine uh, ship. Then you got the Cresta one class guided missile cruiser. Then you got the second one, which is a large anti-submarine ship. So this one I think has more missiles and this one is pretty much for uh, killing uh, submarines and it's got a uh, helicopter back pad on the back which is very dangerous so is the so is the other one then you got the Kara large Kara class large anti ship anti submarine ship which is very dangerous as well And then you got the modern Udaloy class uh, large anti-submarine ship right here used in the Russian Navy which is a destroyer then you got the well, how do you pronounce it so many so remini class uh, destroyer hopefully if there's any uh, Eastern European or Russian or Ukrainian uh, speakers out there tell me if I'm saying this right or if I'm butchering them really really bad then we got the Kirov class nuclear powered guided missile cruiser which is pretty much a battle cruiser in a way then we got the server Delov class light cruiser which is pretty much a old 1950s uh, 50 ship which is it's pretty much a Mikhail Kuchasov if you're uh, into World of Warships or War Thunder then we got the Boskova class anti submarine cruiser which is the early version then we got the late version right here what's the difference I guess just armaments in a way and then we got this bad boy the Kiev class tactical aircraft carrying cruiser which looks absolutely fantastic now some of these ships like this one and these two cannot be used in the uh, campaigns which is kind of sad but I can see why this is actually very very overpowered if uh, you're hunting submarines and it's got anti uh, ship missiles as well it's got the hedgehogs right over here the uh, rocket launched uh, depth charges which is the RBU then it's got torpedoes it's got these uh, cannons right here it's got the uh, Russian sea whizzes right here it's just pretty much bristling with uh, firepower which is the ship I'm gonna be showing off then you can also play as the Chinese in the uh, test grounds which uh, I don't know much about the Chinese uh, Navy but they are I think it's pretty similar to the uh, Russian Navy in a way but they pretty much updated all their uh, stuff on it so where is another oh. here as you can see it also has a uh, Riga for the chat for the uh, Chinese Navy what else it's also got one of these right here and then we got I think that's an Australian is it is it Australian not too sure but it's got a uh, British marking up here 
and it is the Adladi Adladi class frigate. But I'm gonna be showing you the uh, the Kiev class. Uh, oh, where is it? Here, here it is. The Kiev class tactical air aircraft carrying cruiser. And I'm gonna show you what it can do. So let's hit the uh, the training uh, the training area. And I'll be doing a short uh, sh short series or uh, a video series of uh, going over what the uh, positive and negatives of all these ships are, and showing you if you have this mod installed, whether it's uh, good or not. And let us get started right here. Boom! Let's get started. All right, we have new sonar contact bearing 228. This is zero one. 01. Our depth is zero meters. Our heading 228. Speed five knots. Local conditions, north surface ducts or thermal ducts. East of Iceland in the Norwegian Sea. Clear and light air. July 15th, 1984, 1200 hours. All hands man battle station. On sonar, new contact bearing two, two, eight, designated Sierra one. And as you can see, this is a very imposing and absolutely fantastic looking uh, warship during the uh, the Soviet era. And I think they were pretty much all decommissioned after the fall of the Soviet Union, which is quite a shame. I feel like this one. These uh, ships look absolutely amazing. So now let's just uh, see what we can Raise do. Radar, radar mass. mass, ESM mass, up scope, and then Con sonar. switching to active search. And switching to active search. As you can see, there's helicopters and a plane coming after us. Is there any? There's no stern trawlers around here, which is weird. Then we got a NATO modern cargo ship right over here. It is American. All right, let's see what we can do. Right here, we have uh, helicopters. It actually launch up to 18 helicopters with uh, one. Was it one torpedo each? So that's 18 torpedoes. So let's say in the campaign, you're pretty much surrounded by a bunch of. Uh, Bunch of submarines, you can pretty much send out 18 of these. Find them, kill them. So that's pretty cool. We have uh, a tote array. We can have a tote array if we want, which is awesome. And I think tote arrays are for uh, finding uh, really quiet submarines, is what I've heard. Then we can have toggle, tote, toggle the tote to array. Then one or two, hmm. don't know what that's for. But then we got the uh, sand missiles right here. Let's shoot down that plane because we got a. Uh... Oh, there's our Sam's helicopter. Uh, sets of helicopters. One to two, one. Is that is that priority? I don't know. But right here we can have our speed. Here's our AK-7, 726 cannons, which are these right here, which is this one right here. Oh, did we shoot down something already? Oh no, it's still coming. Come on, get close, get close. There we go. There we go. And it is now currently dying. Hopefully that helicopter doesn't uh, have the same mistake. Oh. Come on, let's hit that. Let's hit that helicopter. And we also got regular torpedoes right here, but we can also equip these voodoo pad uh, room. Two, missiles. Two, ready. Let me show you what they can do. Con, room. Two, so, ready. Let's... 
and that helicopter is now dead. So now let's launch a vessel over here. Aye, sir. As you can see, it shoots out like a torpedo and goes up like a missile. And those are pretty much a rocket uh, Shoot two, one. cruise Aye, missiles sir. with torpedoes on them when they, once they reach their target, which is absolutely insane. Now you're wondering, during the uh, game, why this thing was so potent. Like, every time I faced this, it was uh, pretty dangerous. Oh. Let's retract the uh, tow array before we break it. It's like that's not happening. And now, let us launch uh, the helicopters. Oh wait, here if you activate these, you can actually uh, you can actually activate them and lock onto a target. But you can actually select which target they can fire at, which is pretty cool. Then here is the R RBU six uh, thousand uh, hedgehogs on the front. So let's say you close into a uh, to a submarine target, you can activate these. And they'll launch. Uh, depth charges, rocket uh, propelled depth charges, which is awesome. And you can kill them, kill a uh, submarine very, very quick with those. So now, let's launch uh, the helicopters, shall we? We have Come one, like aircraft two, three, like four, five, Come six. Like Up to six helicopters ready to go. So now, Control left. Control left. Control left. Control left. Control left. And now they are all ready to go. So now let's say there's a uh, submarine all the way out here, or right over here. Hit this right here. It will drop a, a uh, torpedo at that selected location. Same over here. Like 
you can see, we have sent out all of our uh, submarine hunting uh, helicopters all at once. As you, can see, as you can see, they are all spread across the horizon, hunting down our enemies. And I do want to get close to uh, launch these hedgehogs, but maybe we're close enough for these cannons. Con, knuckle formed. Let's see these uh, cannons in action. Con, knuckle formed. Boom, boom, boom. That is sick. What? We're launching it. Anti-ship anti missile. And as we can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these bad boys, but we actually have 15. Oh, looks like we're hitting it pretty bad. Let's hold off. Let's actually turn full broadside. Come on. Come on, full broadside. Oof. It's about to get hit. Oh, he's about to have a very bad day. Oh, well, that missed. But no matter, we'll finish him off the old fashioned way. Come on. Hit him. Yes. 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 Kill him. Oh man, he's getting hit. He getting riddled. Here comes another burst. Come on, kill him. Yes. 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 Now he's dead. Still getting hit. Still getting hit. All the humanity. More hits. Oh yeah, he's going down. He is going down. Dang, this thing is amazing. Too bad you can't play it in the uh, the campaign, but I'll be coming out with uh, more videos of uh, playable surface ships. And I might do a, a video of me playing as the Iowa class uh, battleship going against uh, Soviet... Soviet... Uh, surface ships but so far I think we it's safe to say that the uh, the Kiev class uh, aircraft carrier cruiser is very very potent back in the day and I would hate to be a submarine to go again up against this and in the regular campaign you can go against this but these are very, very dangerous. They have a lot of weapons at their disposal. Um, they're usually in a uh, task force group. And it takes about two to three uh, torpedoes to take out this thing, but leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about the uh, Kiev class uh, aircraft uh, cruiser. It says it's a cruiser, but I call it an aircraft carrier because it can hold that aircraft. Unfortunately, you can't use these uh, jets in the back, but that would be really, really cool. There is another uh, game coming out in 2023, which allows you to play as surface ships. And it hasn't been announced when exactly in uh, 2023 it's coming out, but maybe late 2023. And hopefully they have this uh, Kiev class uh, ship. 
out, which would uh, be really cool to see how it uh, performs in the new game. But leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Tell me what you, what you guys think about this video. I'll be coming out with more of these, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.